So welcome one and all to another movie review. I've not done one in a wee while, so here, and I hope this one is not poo. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do enjoy it, please give me a like and a subscribe and all that pash, please. It would help me out on the algorithm, or maybe it will, maybe it will, maybe it won't. Who knows? Who knows what YouTube feels like at this moment in time? That pile of yes. So what about of you and you're asking and crying at the screen? Come on, Craig's let us know what you're doing, son. Going to um, review Wakanda Forever, Black Panther Two, or as I like to call it, Black Panther Poo. Wank and uh, forever. <laughs> Just a wee flight of fancy there, you know. <laughs> a wee play on words. So I think that is actually going to be giving away what I think of this film. I think it is uh, atrociously bad. It's two hours forty one minutes of um, dross. They could have cut about half the cast out it, and it would have made no difference. So we'll we'll, we'll boil it into that. Look, it's too long. There's no need for this movie to be nearly three hours long. The story is, T'Challa's passed away, his sister's going to sort of take over as Black Panther, but that doesn't actually happen right away. That happens in a while. Sorry, there's going to be there's going to be spoilers in this heap of jumbled jobby, uh, unfortunately. I think that's the best you know way for me to articulate and like not actually... Have to think, oh, I need to cut this bit out of the review because I've, I've, I've spoken about story spoilers, which there really isn't much of. It's really quite basic. So, I there's, the, there's a nice opening scene with the Betty um, T'Challa, or Chadwick, if you want to put it in real world terms. It's, it's nice. It's actually probably the best bit about the film, and that's really fucking morbid, if you ask me. But it gives way to... Utter predictability. There's a courtroom scene and the guy that voiced uh, Odin and God of War Ragnarok's in it, briefly. He's he's in a couple of wee scenes, but it's nothing really to sneeze at. And they're like, oh, you're not going to share your technology with us? And the Queen of Wakanda's like, no, we're not going to share nothing with us. Which does make some kind of sense. I don't think anybody's really trustworthy. Blah, blah, blah. It's a wee bit political. Blah, blah, blah. So then they... Uh, I think it's the UN or America. They try to take it by force. And I thought, oh, here we go. And there's a wee action scene. And the, the soldiers get beat up. Because the, the Royal Guard were hanging about inside this vault. Which I thought was a bit odd. You're like, why are you so in there? You're just having tea time or something? So they disarm them and then bring them into the courtroom and it's like, oh look, we could have killed them but we didn't, all that kind of pish. And then it's like, oh, this merman shows up on this, uh, it's like an oil tanker or some sort of oil mini oil rig thing in the middle of the ocean because the Americans are looking for vibranium and they've found vibranium under the sea. And then these mer people show up, or Atlanteans, or Talokians, or whatever. I can't even really remember. They're blue. They're like shit versions of Avatar, put it that way. And they're evil. And then they all get killed. Yabba dabba do. Not the blue people, but the um, the American tit waffles. They all get bluttered and like, oh, what's, what's happening? And then the, the main guy shows up. And he's like, oh, my name's some load of nonsense then. Oh, but my enemies call me Namor. Oh, we'll just be calling you Namor because it's easier than the last name. Because it's not a triple barreled name that just all oh, sounds the same to me because it's some sort of ancient Mayan Aztecian type made up pish, no doubt. And then what you get is like, oh, when did you find this scientist? And I thought, oh, great, a scientist. Turns out to be Ironheart. And if you don't know who Ironheart is, I don't blame you. Because I didn't really know who Ironheart was. She's the replacement for Iron Man. But she's like 19 year old. No. I'm sorry. No, get to fuck. That's crap. And her suit looks like a fucking shit Transformer, okay? It just looks garbage. Can you see at the end? I've got my suit on. And it's like Iron Man flew a bit with his repulsors on his hands and his feet. And this thing's got a big fucking jetpack. And it's just, I mean, I just hate it. It just... It looks cheap. And then the movie... But the movie's just fucking boring. And he says to them, like, what, what, did, what did he approach the Wakandans for? To find the scientists to go to America to pick her up. 
to bring her back here so that he can kill her. And we're like, right, cool, so they do all that, but then they just show up in the middle of this American city anyway. The Wakandans have a fight with them, kill a couple of them, but they don't die for some bizarre reasons. I, I don't really think they go into that. Can't even remember. But this Namor guy's like, oh, I'm like a god, but he's like, he just comes across as weak and a bit pathetic, actually. It's like, I, I'm attacking the humans so that they don't find us and attack us, but if you attack them, they're definitely going to know about you. Why don't you use some sort of technology like Wakanda did and you just never see them again? Why don't you go up to them and say, I need, we need a force field to hide us? I'm sure they would understand, you know? No, let's start a war with them. That's, that's a better idea. Oh, dear God. Then you've got Martin Freeman's character in it, who might as well know have bothered showing up to this party. You know, it's like, oh, I'm here. Basically, he tells them where the scientist is. That's it. That's all he does. He could have been in this movie for 13.5 seconds. Boom. But he's in it a few other scenes just to go, well, I don't think we should attack them because I'm secretly in contact with them, you know? But you don't know that, but you find out there in the movie that they did know that from the start. So, so what were you hanging about for then? You knew he was a traitor, you fucking idiots. Can't deal with it. Can't deal with the shoddy writing in this fuck. Whoever wrote this is fucking mm-hmm, sugar-headed twat waffle. Oh, then the... the, the What's her name? Shuri? Oh, I can't even remember her bloody name. She gets taken to the water place. And like, oh, this is what we're trying to protect. Oh, it's beautiful and it's lovely. And they come up to her and they're sort of smiling at her and they don't talk because they all talk different languages. And it's like, it's all very lovely. It's all very fucking boring. Didn't need to see all this crap. Bola. And then you, you get a, a, a bit where, oh, they've, they've tricked Namor into, um, and they look at uh, giving back Shuri. They give Shuri back and they're, they're an attack because they've got the other woman. I can't even remember her fucking name. Yeah, it's just dreadful. It's just dreadful pish. There's a fight in Wakanda where the mother gets attacked. The queen gets attacked, I should say, and she gets drowned because they've got these water bombs. And I'm like, aye, very good. And then I'm going to come back with my full army. I thought, why didn't you just do that in the first place? Why attack them and let them regroup? Why? Then they bugger off back to Watertown and there's another fight at the end of the film on a boat at sea, in the middle of the fucking sea, might add. So it's probably the shittest looking fight you've ever seen in your life. The boat looks ridiculous. I hate it. I hate its design. And then by, by the end of the movie, it's like, oh, well, maybe we should just give it a try being friends. And I'm like, oh, aye, okay. Uh, you know, it's like a Fast and the Furious movie. Every time there's a new villain, they're just they're all best friends by the end of it. Or they've captured somebody. And then oh, it's all a ruse, because oh, eventually the, 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 the other world, the up, the up world, the, 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 the land dwelling twats, they'll attack Wakanda and... Oh, they'll come crawling back to us. And I'm just like, I, who cares at this p- Shite. The after credits scene, shite. I know it's like... Did you know that T'Challa had a child with his bird for the first one? I can't remember her name and don't care. No, well, well he has. And what's he called? T'Challa. Well, I very good. I don't call him John or Barry or Bob. Name him after his dad. You've got no fucking no sense of imagination or you've got no ability to be originals. Rename. <laughs> I'm the king of Wakanda now, see, because my dad was. Well, remember all the, the flowers they destroyed in the first movie? Because oh, I've just synthesised it in a lab like that. Nay, bother. God. This is the worst of the Phase 4 movies. Fucking hands down. And it's probably one of the worst Marvel movies ever made. Because it's about 40 minutes too long. The, the villain's weak, even though he's, like, he's portrayed as this really strong thing. He's, really, he's, like, he's like godlike, but he just gets a doing after the black... Black Panther at the end. But eh? Oh, you feeling it a bit hot in this vertebrae thing we've got? Either turn up the heat and that weakens them? Fucking hell, man. No. No, it's dross. Avoid it at all costs, peeps. Don't, don't come here. It's bad. It's full of poison and slippery. Almost put me to sleep a few times. Anyway, I've talked enough pish about this. 
Don't watch it, don't buy it, bin it, forget it ever existed, and hope they don't make a third one. Good night.